The general field of uh, what we call the ICT use of technology in education can be divided between spaces and uh, time. Uh, and it's also um, very much influenced by the use of technologies as, uh, as we can already see in this case. So um, we have on one hand traditional education, on the other we have distance learning, which we know that happened during the COVID lockdowns in the most um, increased way. And we have educational technologies, the actual tools that uh, create such uh, possibilities. This field is called with different names. So e-learning is something that happens between traditional and uh, distance learning education. Blended learning is a mix of spaces where you use both spaces and leverage the different spaces for uh, create for different means. It can be due to access. It can be to for enhancement. That's your technology enhanced learning enhancement of uh, learning processes. <clears throat> it can happen for saving some resources or innovation. There can be different purposes. And uh, mostly distance learning, for instance, now it's provided through the internet technologies. We cannot imagine uh, distance learning without the use of internet right now. However, it was not born in the context of internet. The first distance learning uh, had to do with uh, uh, written media, the post, uh, and also the TV and uh, the birth of uh, first distance uh, learning universities uh, is actually not influenced by internet but uh, by different other means other media uh, this, uh, the technologies use can happen in the synchronous or asynchronous modes so the mode of delivery can we can place on the continuum so this happens on a continuum where you can mix and blend synchronous and asynchronous um, uh, face to face with uh, distance and it, it is all influenced by the technological advances so now let's talk about the term technology enhanced learning why do did we choose this term uh, and who chose this term? Technology enhanced learning aims by uh, its own meaning is supposed to enhance something. So we attach uh, a very big power to the tools. So in this term, we sort of mean that we are enhancing something already by using technology. It might not be the case, but if you think about it, this term already contains some kind of a promise, right? So, a technology creates opportunity and changes the reality, but it doesn't change the practice automatically. Integration of technologies in a thoughtful and in targeted way happens it doesn't happen like a doctor's prescription. So the tools together with pedagogical innovation, there's something that changes with the tools. We need to think about this, that when you have a tool, it already changes the social technical uh, regime or social technical landscape and the classroom. And technology is not a panacea. Technology is a way of achieving goals and outcomes through design and reorganization. Uh, you plan. Learning technologies are not the message, however, they are the main means of changing the practices and create new paradigms, innovate. That's why traditional copying, traditional teaching in modern technological spaces is not often working. Solutionism is not the answer and we need to think about the context of not just the tools. And we have different promises, different issues and expectations from technology. We shouldn't look at it from the point of view of dichotomy. Is the physical classroom better than the virtual classroom? It all depends on what we want to achieve and how do we plan and implement everything that we have planned and what kind of outcomes we have in mind. Thank you for your attention.